Oh, we got some goodies here. So this thing, driving down the freeway, that front end really started shimmying back and forth bad. I mean bad. Got down to 15 and it was still shaking. So I went uh, up to the tire store and had a little chat with them and that's what I came back with. <laughs> New wheels and tires. Holy. There's a boatload of money right there. But the Toyo MTs. A pretty decent tire from what everybody's told me. No white lettering. Thought about doing that, but nah, it's just a wheeling rig. So uh, we're going to spend the next uh, few minutes here bolting a few of these puppies up. I got, I didn't get the center caps. Figuring, hey, I don't need those. Just run it without. And what did I do with the bag? There. Brand new snazzy lug nuts. When we're all said and done, we'll take this in for a run around the uh, on the lake again. Ooh, back into the truck. That's good, good sized treads. Is this they were they wear pretty good. So I don't know if Peninsula mutters. I think this is what he put on his Ford. So these are just 31 by 1050s. Those are 31 by 1150s. So I'm only losing half an inch on each side. I got a pretty heavy duty sidewall. These are the six ply, not the ten ply. So yeah, when it gets down the road, I get to where I can drive it. I can still go out and wheel it a little bit and have some fun. So all right there, Mr. Mopar man, Master Mopar man, and Kevin 92XJ. I got uh, I got some new rubber for my rig. These will actually match up to the spare real nice too, same size. That's just an all-terrain I threw on there, but these I'm going to hang on to. Got an idea for them, but uh, they're definitely not a good highway tire, so they're just going to be relegated to off-road use. So, alrighty, let's get to work. Well, we're in the middle of swapping everything out. Thought I'd pull that drum off and we're still leaking. It's actually more wet than it was yesterday. So I probably screwed something up when I put that bad boy in. This could be that axle shaft too. She had some grooves in her. I don't know. So this will get us down the road. We'll take her into work tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll, uh, the emissions done on it and then we'll park it again until we get that rear end put together which may actually be coming together here pretty soon some of these other projects are getting down there so now that I'm driving this thing again I want to keep driving it so back to work ready I don't know if it's supposed to be this way see that bend in right here I think that's supposed to be straight I mean, it's straight where it goes in there. I wonder if that's part of my shimmy issue. It's pulling the front end out of whack. Yeah, we'll find out when we put the new tires on. Although, that tie rod end is kind of angled up a little bit. That one's kind of angled up a little bit, so that may be. I'll have to look at the, uh, I don't know how you would bend that up like that. I'll have to take a good look at it. You know, Get some pictures. Maybe that part is supposed to be like that. I don't know. Anywho, we're working on it. I won't show you the after until we're all done. Well, look at that. A little skin here. Yeah? I kind of like it though. It's still got quite as far. I'm not going to sling as much water. I even went so far as to paint the hubs and everything. Some rust will come up prime. I thought the last one. Pin the drums in the back too. But just so they have some bright orange rust you can throw. And even, I had the paint out, sprayed my rusty spare tire flat black. 
I'll probably give it another coat and hit it with some gloss black paint just so it kind of matches. Not that it really matters, but all four of them are on. Torque them to 100 inch pounds. Yes, I did find my torque wrench and it works. Now we're going to go road test it. Maybe we'll throw the GoPro on there somewhere. So you all can see how they ride. I hope it doesn't shimmy and shake as much as these did. But got another uh, project set for these. Ooh, look at the grease. But uh, I gotta find some place to put these things. Holy. I have a whole lot of room in here to go try to make some room in the shed. Anyway, I'm gonna get everything cleaned up here and I'm gonna go for a road tip, trip. I wanna take these things and try them out. I like the black. Like the black bumper, flares, the wheels. Need to get rid of those and get some black ones. Do the front bumper in black. That should be looking really cool. That looks pretty good from that angle, actually. I like that. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go play. Try these new tires out. So far, so good. Already rolls smoother. So I got you up here on the uh, old uh, Hero 2, got the Hero 3 plastered on the outside. Out portion his truck. Hopefully that windshield's not too dirty for you there. You know she actually rides a lot smoother. I can tell that already. I'm not feeling every clunk of tread. Hit this manhole cover, see what it feels like. Oh, yeah. I could hardly even feel that. This thing almost rides like the Eldorado now. That's like a brand new set of tires. Geez, that's two sets of tires I've bought in the last three weeks, four weeks. Lot smoother. Wow. I'd go as far to say that it's a joy to drive. It wasn't bad before, but lost my uh, B-52 or B-29 bomber sound though. Rolling in her vet. Let's take this little gravel out here real quick. well to some uh, TLC. Don't know how bad bias plays are till you own a set.
here and uh, you hit some of these bumps, like this one. I don't know if you can really feel it in these tires now, but uh, the front end will just start shimmying, just hopping. It's not doing that anymore. I think those old bias plies are just getting so out around. Uh, it's actually driving really nice. Get her up to some higher speeds here and we can take her back around the lake. Was thinking about doing a set of like 32 1150s, but like I said, Schwab had these, they were ready to go. They're still aggressive enough, they'll do just fine. A little bit harder than a standard mud terrain tire, so it'll last for a while. Yeah, see that uh, steel plate there? That would have, I want to say, rattled my teeth out with the old tires, but it would have sure felt that. These bumps now, you can hardly even feel them. Huge improvement. But you gotta remember, I've had those bias plies on this thing ever since I put it on the road. Those radials that were on it when I bought it, I got rid of them pretty quick. As soon as I got those old uh, swampers. So I'm liking this. Got my Jeep back again. Just need to finish fixing that rear end. A little bummed out that that seal didn't take. It's probably my fault, but I'm not going to tear back into her. 6.11 in the evening right now. Got a couple hours of daylight left. some high speed here, head her back to the house. I'm not going around the lake. And then we'll, uh, maybe we'll measure that clutch pack for that rear end. Got some more vidges to put together. Jeez, this is a long weekend for me. Oh yeah, no wobble at all out of that front end. About now I would have been feeling at least the, just the hint. This is cool. We'll get her up to about 50, 55 or so here. I'll fix my Jeep. Only cost 1500 bucks, but... Cool.
are so good. There's 40. 45. 50. An area wobble out of the front end at all. 55. Probably a little over because my speedometer's that my speedometer's off, speedometer's off a wee bit. This thing's driving like a brand new Jeep right now. Holy! Those old tires that have to hunt back and forth to keep her straight. This thing's just going nice and smooth. I'm impressed. You know, those swampers are good off-road, but boy, they are a lousy road tire. She still pulls when you're under braking, though. That could be grease on that one rear end too, pulling everything to the left. It's that right rear that's leaking still. Light. Normally I'd turn here, but go around the block. Yeah, she's driving really nice. I are happy. a little bit, but definitely hear the motor more. I'm anxious to get it up in the dirt and see how they do. But not with this rear end, not with that leak. You hear it there, a little bit of tire noise, but not bad. Definitely a lot quieter than the old uh, rubber was. over there on the left. Something clicking underneath there. There was a clunk earlier. You'll probably hear it on the other camera's angle. driving this into work tomorrow. Get that smog done. Put uh, 16 miles on this tank of gas, so I've run the old fuel through and done a few starts and stops, so that computer should be adjusted. She'll get another 15 miles on her tomorrow driving into the place. Get her all tested up. Hopefully she passes. I only got one more test after that. And uh, no more emissions. What's this on the left? One of the Pontiacs? 
Yeah, I'm happy. Not so happy I went out and spent a boatload of money today. Didn't really plan on it, but... Eh, yeah, makes her roadworthy. Or more roadworthier. Right now, the only issue I really got is that rear end. That was nice. That bump back there. I would have bounced with those old tires. That one there, you can hardly feel it at all. Cool beans. Let's shut this part off here. We'll uh, obviously can't get out and stop the other camera until I get home. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. Very cool. Got the Jeep mobile again. Somewhat reliable. So we'll catch you all here in the next exciting series. Bye bye.